Selective outrage, the harmful inconsistency of moral values and principles. Let's talk about outrage, specifically selective outrage. One of the issues to address is the phenomenon of selective outrage. Selective outrage is objectively a harmful behavior that could be detrimental to both the people who feel outraged and the targets of their outrage. Let's explore selective outrage, why it is harmful, how common it is, and why we should be careful before joining the outrage bandwagon. Selective outrage is a term used to describe the tendency of people to express outrage or anger over some issues while remaining silent or indifferent to others. This behavior is characterized by inconsistency in the moral values and principles people apply when evaluating situations. Selective outrage can manifest in many ways, and it is often seen in people's reactions to different events, depending on their personal biases or interests. Here are 19 examples of selective outrage. 1. Outrage over animal abuse while ignoring human rights violations. Many people express outrage and disgust over the mistreatment of animals while ignoring human rights violations in their own country or worldwide. For example, the United States Congress passed the Animal Crush Video Prohibition Act in 2010, which criminalizes producing and distributing videos depicting animal cruelty. However, the same Congress has been criticized for not taking sufficient action to address human rights violations in other countries. 2. Outrage over animal cruelty while ignoring human suffering. Some people express outrage over animal cruelty while ignoring human suffering or social injustices. For example, some animal rights activists have criticized using animals in circuses or entertainment while neglecting the exploitation of workers or the mistreatment of marginalized communities. 3. Outrage over celebrity scandals while ignoring more significant issues. People often express outrage over celebrity scandals or controversies while neglecting the most critical matters that affect their communities or society. For example, the 2014 Ebola outbreak in West Africa received less media coverage than the celebrity nude photo leak that occurred around the same time. 4. Outrage over political events based on party affiliation. People often express outrage or support for political events based on their party affiliation or personal biases. For example, Democrats expressed outrage over the separation of families at the U.S.-Mexico border during the Trump administration. In contrast, Republicans expressed outrage over the alleged election fraud in the 2020 U.S. presidential election. 5. Outrage over police brutality while ignoring violence within communities. Many people express outrage over police brutality or misconduct while ignoring violence within their communities. For example, there were over 4,000 shootings in Chicago in 2016, but only a tiny fraction received national media attention. 6. Outrage over environmental issues while ignoring other social and economic problems. People often express outrage over ecological issues, such as climate change or deforestation, while neglecting other interconnected social and economic problems. For example, there has been a growing movement in India to protect the tiger population. Still, some critics argue that this movement ignores the human rights violations and poverty affecting the region. 7. Outrage over political correctness while ignoring discrimination and prejudice. Some people express outrage over what they perceive as political correctness or cancel culture, while ignoring systemic discrimination and bias. For example, some commentators have criticized efforts to remove statues or symbols of Confederate leaders, arguing that it erases history or free speech, while ignoring the harm these symbols can cause to people of color. 8. Outrage over gun control while ignoring other public health issues. Some people express outrage over gun control measures, arguing that they infringe on their Second Amendment rights while ignoring other public health issues that cause more deaths or injuries. For example, in the United States, gun violence kills around 40,000 people yearly, while motor vehicle accidents kill over 38,000 people annually. 9. Outrage over personal offenses while ignoring systemic problems. Some people express outrage over personal barbs or insults, such as being called a derogatory name, while ignoring systemic issues, such as racism or sexism, that affect marginalized groups. For example, some men have expressed outrage over being accused of sexual harassment or misconduct while ignoring the prevalence of these issues and the harm they cause to women. 10. Outrage over cultural appropriation while ignoring cultural exchange. Some people express outrage over cultural appropriation, 
or the adoption of elements of one culture by another while ignoring the benefits of cultural exchange and the complex history of cultural interaction. For example, some critics have accused non-indigenous people of appropriating indigenous culture by wearing headdresses or using indigenous designs, ignoring that indigenous cultures have been historically oppressed and erased. 11. Outrage over cultural appropriation while ignoring systemic oppression. Some people express outrage over cultural appropriation such as wearing clothing or hairstyles associated with another culture while ignoring more pressing issues of systemic oppression such as racism or economic inequality. For example, some social media users may call out others for appropriating cultural symbols or practices while ignoring the lack of diversity in the media or the underrepresentation of minority groups in politics. 12. Outrage over immigration while ignoring other forms of discrimination. Some people express outrage over immigration policies or the influx of refugees while ignoring other forms of discrimination or prejudice, such as racism or homophobia. For example, some politicians or media outlets have demonized immigrants or refugees while ignoring the root causes of migration, such as war, poverty, or climate change. 13. Outrage over privacy violations by corporations while ignoring government surveillance. Some people express outrage over corporations collecting personal data or violating privacy rights while ignoring government surveillance or infringement on civil liberties. For example, some critics have raised concerns over social media companies collecting user data or sharing information with third parties while ignoring government surveillance programs or data breaches. 14. Outrage over offensive language while ignoring harmful actions. Some people express outrage over foul language or jokes while ignoring harmful actions or policies that affect marginalized groups. For example, some people may criticize others for using racially charged language or making sexist jokes while ignoring more pressing issues, such as police brutality or workplace discrimination. 15. Outrage over climate change while ignoring other environmental issues. Some people express outrage over climate change or environmental degradation while ignoring other ecological problems such as pollution or deforestation. For example, some activists may focus on reducing carbon emissions or promoting renewable energy while ignoring the impact of industrial farming or unsustainable resource extraction. 16. Outrage over perceived threats to traditional values while ignoring human rights. Some people express outrage over perceived threats to traditional values or morals, such as same-sex marriage or gender equality, while ignoring the fundamental human rights of others. For example, some religious or conservative groups may oppose LGBTQ plus rights or reproductive rights while ignoring the impact of their policies on marginalized communities. 17. Outrage over political correctness while ignoring the impact of hate speech. Some people express outrage over political correctness or restrictions on free speech while ignoring the harm caused by hate speech or discrimination. For example, some individuals or organizations may oppose hate speech laws or diversity initiatives while neglecting the impact of hate speech on vulnerable groups or the importance of creating inclusive communities. 18. Outrage over immigration while ignoring economic inequality. Some people express outrage over immigration or border control policies while ignoring the root causes of immigration, such as economic inequality or political instability. For example, some politicians or pundits may blame immigrants for taking jobs or draining resources while ignoring the systemic disparities contributing to poverty or migration. 19. Outrage over cancel culture while ignoring historical injustice. Some people express outrage over cancel culture or perceived threats to free speech while ignoring the historical injustices that have silenced or marginalized certain voices. For example, some commentators or academics may criticize cancel culture or woke politics while ignoring the legacy of slavery, colonialism, or genocide that has shaped our society. Selective outrage is harmful for several reasons. First, it can lead to hypocrisy and moral inconsistency. People who engage in selective outrage risk being perceived as hypocrites because they apply different standards to different situations. This perception can undermine their credibility and diminish the impact of their outrage. Second, selective outrage can be counterproductive because it can distract from more important issues. When people focus on minor incidents and trivialities, they may lose sight of more significant problems that require attention and action. Finally, selective outrage can be harmful to the targets of the outrage. When people are subjected to disproportionate criticism and condemnation, they may feel unfairly attacked and stigmatized, harming their reputation and well-being. Determining the exact percentage of people who engage in selective outrage is difficult. However, several studies have suggested that this behavior is quite common. For example, a study conducted by researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, 
found that people were more likely to support a charity that helped victims of an earthquake in their own country than a charity that helped victims of a similar earthquake in another country. Another study by the Pew Research Center found that people were more likely to express outrage over politically aligned with their beliefs than incidents that were not. Before joining the outrage bandwagon, we should evaluate the situation carefully and consider the potential consequences of our actions. It is essential to be consistent in our moral values and principles, and to avoid hypocrisy and moral inconsistency. We should also be mindful of the potential distractions that selective outrage can create and focus our attention on the most critical issues. Finally, we should avoid harmful and disproportionate attacks on the targets of our indignation and instead engage in constructive dialogue and problem solving. To summarize, selective outrage is a harmful behavior that can be detrimental to both the people feeling outraged and the targets of their outrage. While it is difficult to determine the exact percentage of people who engage in this behavior, it is quite common. Before joining the outrage bandwagon, we should evaluate the situation carefully and consider the potential consequences of our actions. By doing so, we can avoid the pitfalls of selective outrage and engage in constructive dialogue and real problem solving. References used for this article are as follows. Adichie, CN, 2019. Is it time to cancel cancel culture? The Guardian. Ariola E. 2019. Why Animal Rights Activists Should Care About Human Suffering. Medium. Brinjik G. H. 2014. Ebola vs. Celebrity Nudes. Americans Really Like to Google Celebrities. Quartz. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. 2021. Motor Vehicle Safety. Chomsky N. 2019. The Roots of Mass Migration. Jacobin. Ditto. P. H. and Lopez. D. F. 1992. Motivated Skepticism. Use of Differential Decision Criteria for Preferred and Non-Preferred Conclusions. Friedersdorf, C. 2017. The Dangers of Ignoring Systemic Racism. The Atlantic. Gershman, M. 2016. The Complexities of Cultural Appropriation. The New Yorker. Jones, R. 2019. Trump's Immigration Policy is About Racism, Not Security. Newsweek. Kaminer, W. 2018. In Defense of Political Correctness. The Atlantic. Kim, E. 2018. Stop focusing on offensive language and start addressing systemic discrimination. Forbes, Kine, P. 2017. Chicago had more than 4,000 shooting victims in 2016. CNN, Omidvar, R. 2018. Traditional values can't justify the denial of human rights. The Globe and Mail, Pew Research Center, 2017. The partisan divide on political values grows even wider. Ranganathan J. and Waite, R. 2020. The problem with climate change is not climate change. Wired. Rosenwald, MS, 2018. Why outrage over Facebook's data scraping is misplaced. The Washington Post, Scott C., 2019. The Irrelevance of Celebrity Gossip, The Atlantic, Singh, M. and Levine, D.I., 2021. The Partisan Divide in Fear of COVID-19, Supermanian, S., 2015. India's Tiger Crusade, High Ideals and Hidden Realities, BBC News, Salovitz, M., 2012. When it comes to suffering, it's humans first, animals second, time, University of California, Berkeley, 2015. Earthquake Relief, People More Generous Toward Fellow Citizens Than Foreign Victims. Science Daily, United States Government Publishing Office, 2010. H.R. 5566, Animal Crush, Video Prohibition Act of 2010. Iglesias M., 2017. The Intellectual Weaknesses of Outrage Culture, Vox Jang S., 2017. The Problem with Calling Out Cultural Appropriation, The Atlantic. Thank you for listening to this podcast about selective outrage. We have explored the phenomenon of selective outrage, why it is harmful, how common it is, and why we should be careful before joining the outrage bandwagon. Selective outrage can manifest in many ways, and it is often seen in people's reactions to different events, depending on their personal biases or interests. We have discussed several examples of selective outrage, such as outrage over animal cruelty while ignoring human suffering outrage over political correctness while ignoring discrimination and prejudice, and outrage over privacy violations by corporations while ignoring government surveillance. It is essential to be aware of our own biases and to strive for consistency in our moral values and principles. Selective outrage can have serious consequences, leading to division, hypocrisy, and harm to individuals and communities. Let us strive for a more thoughtful and consistent approach to moral issues one that is based on empathy, fairness, and critical thinking. Thank you for listening to this podcast. We hope it has provided valuable insights on this critical topic.